Member of the Planning Board. I'll nominate Mary Louise Wilsley. I'll nominate it. I'll speak second for your uh, discussion. Okay. Any other nominations? I'd nominate Jim as a member of the Planning Board. I'll second for discussion. Okay, we have two people here that both want to be on the planning board. And, you know, I don't really know what the, the fairest thing to do here. Uh, what else have we got? Why don't we go and look at what I'll do the others first? We don't have, do we have that list available no. yet? Because these no. are the only two that we have to do by statute, You're right? You do elections tonight, right. and you okay. need to tell me what you want to do with the others. Okay, so we'd have to wait until we bring those up when they come up. We'll bring Why them up next meeting. Yeah, can we do that? Does everyone, we can think about it. What is the problem? Well, we, I think, you know, I don't know. We have two people. Jim would like to do it. We and have I five people. I mean, they could all want to do it. So, uh, I think we we'll take a vote. Yeah, I, I think, you know, I think I've been on the planning board. I work well with the planning board. I work well with the planner. Done a lot. I'd like to see what the other uh, positions are. Well, so we that we know who's going to get what. And I have served on the planning board as well. And it's a critical thing to be on. So how many more positions do we have that we can make sure everybody has something to do here? I'm not. Uh, Jim, you also are do the uh, Channel 22. No, I don't. No, I oh, do. you don't? Rusty, Rusty does that? Who I, I did that. <laughs> so are you going to give that up, Rusty? I'll... I'll give any of it up. So. <laughs> um, you know, uh, so, we have a list. I don't. We don't have the list with us tonight. But there's uh, zoning board, planning board, school. school. There's no zoning board. Uh, there's not one of us on the zoning board anymore. No, okay, there's a the school. Right. We have a, a reference. Liaison to the school. A liaison to the school. Yeah. We have a liaison. Liaison to uh, regional school. Uh, Winnicott. Winnicott. So there's. How about uh, trash collection? No, there isn't that either. So now, maybe you would like the school, Mary Louise. No, I would like to serve on the planning board. I have served on the planning board before, and it's critical. It's a critical place to be in this day and age. We have a lot of items that need to be addressed. May I say something about? I think one of Mary Louise's main concerns, and I've shared the same concern before over this past year is that with everything we have going on in the town, pipes bursting under the marsh, wastewater treatment plant, in process of finally getting some very necessary upgrades, that the communication is non-existent between the Board of Selectmen and the Planning Board through no fault of anyone's own. And it's not that we want to order, I don't, it's not that we want to try to tell the planning board how to do anything, nor would they want us to do that to, I don't know how to say this, but we just need to talk more, I think, with everything we have going on in town. And if that could perhaps start becoming the process of, I mean, we're spending $13 million and now maybe eventually another $4 million, depending on what goes on with the marsh pipes, all right? $20 million out the door. I mean, maybe it's not a good idea to just keep building. All right? Sorry? I said it. Okay. So I think that's what Mary Louise's main concern is, and I share the concern with her. Now, if Selectman Waddell also wants the position, then it looks like we have some type of an election that we have to conduct. Who would, you know, do you know what I'm saying, Jim? I think I mean, that Yeah, but what I want to say is the planning board's an, an elected board from us. They're not a board that's under the Selectman. They're not a board that's appointed. We have a town planner that does an excellent job, works very much in cooperation with the Conservation Commission, with the Conservation Coordinator. On the planning board, you have a diversity of opinions, all the way from somebody who's very small government, laissez-faire, to somebody who's much more controlled government. And I think they work well together. I think they've done a lot of, they have a lot of conversation about development. They just don't go willy-nilly we can have development. You have a lot of people on that planning board who have a long history in Hampton, know Hampton extremely well, and I think they are willing to work with the selectmen. They're willing to work with anybody, but they are an elected board. They are independent of the selectmen. They are not controlled by the selectmen, and I agree, and they look at every development. They look at the zoning laws. They look at the, the RSAs. They look at the ordinances. And they do a very, very good job, I'm going to say, of what they do. I want to make a Go ahead. comment. 
I have served on the planning board as the selectman representative, and I have also served on the conservation commission. Fred, do you remember where you and I were in December of 2012? <laughs> Mr. Welch and I were in front of the planning board asking for impact fees to be levied. The impact fees that were suggested in the planning board's own article in 2002. I got figures from Kevin Schultz a couple of weeks ago that showed me that he has issued building permits in this community in the amount of $583 million since 2002 through December 2017. And I looked at some of the paperwork that was in my folder that I got at the end of the week, uh, and I watched the planning board meetings. They're talking about developments in the west side of town. You know that side of town better than any of us, Rusty. And they're talking about hooking up to the sewer. We're having enough trouble, I think, right now with the sewer. And we have to take a really hard look at growth and development in this community because we're not going to be able to afford some of this stuff. Okay, so we have two. Go ahead. And I, you know, basically, I feel that, you know, I was on the planning board for probably even longer than you, Jim. Yep. And, um, you know, I do think it is good to, to move it around. And, um, you know, I didn't want to give it up. But I was kind of glad I was gone once I was off of it, <laughs> I will have to say. Um, but, you know, we have Mary Louise here that would, you know, like to go there. And I could somehow I could see either one of you being uh, a liaison at the school. And I think you would do a good job at that. I think I'd do a good job at the planning board. Yeah. So. Okay, it's up to a vote. Right. So we have a vote. So all those in favor of Mary Louise? All those opposed? I guess Mary Louise has it. So. I'm sorry, but that's. I think it's good to shake it up. Who's once the ultimate? Jim. I'll, I'll nominate ultimate. Jim. All right. I suck it up. Okay. All in favor? Yeah. Unanimous. And what about the school?